Neil, take us to one of your favorite places today. Where are we going? It's a new place, um, a little hidden gem that I discovered on a rainy day. Not the building. The building is well known. It's the Fort Canning Center. I've been there many times. But the Fort Canning Heritage Gallery, only opened in August 2022, okay. uh, which I will be honest, hold my hands up. It, it kind of slipped by my radar. And... My wife and I, what happened was my daughter was with friends in her second home, Orchard Road, where she's often frequenting with Kate and others, and she was there again. So my wife and I, we had an hour or two to kill. It looked like... Because your company. presence is not needed in Orchard Road. Yes, we carry on. as important, as, a, as valued as a bad smell when she's in Orchard Road. So yeah. Yeah. we were going to go to the Battle Box. To my shame, I yeah. still haven't been to the wow. Battle Box. It's one of those things I keep meaning to go, and I don't go, or it's closed. That's that's actually shocking. It is shocking. I agree it is shocking. But anyway, carry I on. Know. You you're are you're still a good guy. Yeah. Not really. No. <laughs> so we did go. And it's run by a good friend, regular guest of the show, the Singapore History Consultant. Yeah, yeah. We went there, we checked online, they said it was open, it was Chinese New Year, oh, it, it was closed. Oh. And the security guard said, it's only open three or four days a week now, oh. and I don't want to What's criticize it? anyone, but they really do need to update their website, because the website yeah. seems to suggest it's open. Oh, we should, we should let them know that. Yeah, yeah so anyway, uh, outside yeah. the battle box, very, very chirpy, funny security guard says, oh, you're a waste of time, it's raining, da, da, da. go to the gallery, go to the gallery. I was like, what gallery? Just over there. So we went over to the Fort Canning Center to see this heritage gallery. Now, it opened in August 2022. Sorry, sorry, is it the one that's just across from the Battle Box entrance? Yes, just up. The big building the, that the used to be building, the, the old British military, British military guys, yeah. building. Okay. Got it. It's where they held the bicentennial. Correct. That, same was, yeah, place, that was great. Which I went to twice yeah. and it was fabulous. Yeah. What I didn't know, to their credit, is once the bicentennial event concluded, they kept many of its um, the, uh, displays scenes, or whatever the displays. They some of the costumes, okay, and more importantly, some of the historical artifacts. Now it's spread on two levels, in five zones. The bit I particularly liked was when it focused on the archaeological artifacts. And what it does, it tells you, it shows you Fort Canning through the different eras. So the 14th century. Uh, you know, during the time of the Malay kings. Yeah, nice. Then the 19th century with raffles and so on and government hill, and then right up to the present day. Cool. The artifacts were genuinely fascinating. The two things. One, the interactive element that mm. we talked about with Tip Meng from the Science Centre. Mm. They had these books set up, like big books, like old yellow pages size books, but they're plastic. But a child will touch them and electronic pages will oh, turn. Nice. Yeah. And you can go 14th century, 15th century, just great. Beautiful. And they had these little gems of facts that I found interesting, such as Fort Canning, a place you and I particularly like, has only been accessible to the public in human history for the last 700 years in the last 30 years or so, mm. which is something I never thought about mm. because, of course, it was the home of the five Malay kings. Right. That wasn't open to the common folk, of course. to, the, to the, the, the common folk there from the, you know, the kampongs. Then you fast forward to the British, Raffles takes it over, Government Hill, that's not open to the public. Then it becomes a British military area, the, the command was built there, not open to the public. So you think, okay, fine, Singapore independence. No, still no, because the Singapore Armed Forces took it over. Oh. It was only really open to the public as we know it today, in 1981. Wow. League, extraordinary, right? So yeah. for 700 years, yeah. Fort Canning has not been accessible to the public 700 years yeah, okay. until 1981. That was a fact I, I learned. I assumed it like maybe after World War II it was opened up or whatever. No, because the yeah. British military and then the Singapore yeah. military after that. Yeah. I mean, it was sort of known as Central Park and part of it was known as King George V Jubilee Park and then they put the two together to make one Fort huh. Canning Park. So the Heritage Gallery, lots of artifacts, lots of interactive uh, little mini exhibitions very easy, very bite-sized, very accessible. I'm not going to pretend it rivals the National Museum, but it was free. It was empty. It was nice and cool. It was a wonderful escape from the rain. And honestly, if you're in that area and you've got half hour, one hour to spare, just walk in. Absolutely perfect. And you will genuinely learn something. Hmm. Loved it.
And if you have a chance, if the battle box is open, go to the battle box. If it's not, go down to that new uh, that new uh, herb garden. Yes, and they've also opened yeah, up a spice there. gallery. The spice gallery, the the spice gallery outside of the Heritage uh, yeah. Center, which I didn't go to because it was pouring down. That right. was the reason for me being in the gallery. But just honestly, a nice little gem. It's always good in Singapore, even now, after 25 years, to find a little gem like that. Yes, I knew the building was there. It's it's that British Army Barracks old building, built yeah. in 1926. Yeah. Officers itself, Club or something. That in itself is a great building. Yeah. It's got that neoclassical style yeah. Yeah. at the top of the hill, very elegant. But the Heritage Center, as I understand, the exhibition is permanent. And credit to them, right. credit to them, because that is such a viable location. Yeah. You can make serious money out of that yeah. with your conferences, weddings, yeah. whatever, whatever. Yeah. The fact that they've donate, uh, you know, donated two, maybe three floors of it to this permanent exhibition on Fort Canning. Wonderful. Yeah. And there's a cafe next door as well. Uh, you can just go there and is, get yes. a bite to eat or yes, a coffee is. or something. And if, the, if you can't find it, it sounds like a silly thing. They even had vending machines, which considering where we were in the middle of nowhere, I used them. I made use of them <laughs> because the cafe wasn't open because it was Chinese New Year. So right. Fort Canning Heritage Center, it's free. It's open every day. It's got 700 years of history, great artifacts. If you've got an hour to spare, get down there.